last start, really lurched forward. But to a finish. But just this year. Well, yeah, this is good. 63. It's okay. Here we hope from Ratajski. He may start. No, he's gone at the top of the board. You often see players come down for a couple of treble 19s, but either way, just this is the return to 50 and to stop the rot of five consecutive legs and force a decider. So can the Alicante ace stop the rot, send the tide? Double 16 to do so. A re grip. 18. And he can't finish the job. He's unraveled here, Joseph, just this year. But credit to this man. He upped his level of performance and has an opportunity to finish the job here. Another. And now double 16 to complete. A fabulous comeback. Game and there it is. And that regrip in the last visit from Hustisia kind of symbolised his match. In line, Jeff Smith plucks a 180. 95. Oh, there was a lunge in that last one from Steve. Yeah, maybe just a sign that he's feeling the pressure. Not just of winning a match in the first round on a pro to it. And Smith gets unlucky there because he would have been on a finish. But Ulf holding on to his tour card this season will be in his mind. 58. Steve Beaton, is this my last year as a professional player? And Wants to keep it out of his mind during matches, doesn't he? Yeah, it's easier said than done. It does ramp the pressure up. And bear in mind, Steve Beat's been a regular fixture for a long, long time in the PDC now. But to complete the job, tops for a massive win for Steve Beat. And that is clinical. Steve and Steve Beat, in credit to him, there's not been a lot of joy on the Pro Tour this year. That is only his fourth thir first round win. But what a win that is. 4 2 down, he trailed. He's just had a little word with the referee here, but. Result done. Steve Beaton picks up a vital victory for Hughes to get over the line. Stuttered slightly, but what a big result this could be for Jamie Hughes. Two match starts. One more left. 30. And he can't find it. And you feel it a bit against any other player, but James Wade in particular, you half expect it tops to complete the comeback Jamie Hughes can't look 61. but he can breathe a sigh of relief he's going to get some more match starts two have come and gone three more incoming just steady himself Jamie Hughes going the wrong way how much can he see? No score. And that is five missed for the match. Jamie Hughes will be kicking himself. And you don't expect Wade to miss. Game he doesn't miss. And James from 5-3 down, he apologised. But he's not sorry. James Wade. Can neck in this leg. Matt Campbell would love to get it done without the stress of a last leg decider. Jermaine leaves himself 101. Campbell, one treble. Makes him very dangerous. Two would have made him even more so. Triple 14, Campbell gets a chance at the 10 to close out victory. Triple 20, and this time he will be aggressive on the double, and he's very aggressive. Good stuff from Matt Campbell. After the, the 1 2 6 to keep Jermaine Watermaine's hopes alive, Matt Campbell regroups and close out the match. Good win for Matt Campbell, and he completes the action in this first round on this stream, and he will take on. It's a maximum. He has no other option, and he's not going to produce it. And Darius Labanowskis is going to get six darts from 1 2 7. The game is in the palm of his hand. Seventeen segment. Double eight. And Shot game. Out. Darius Labanowskis. He would have liked in that. But he should get one dot. He would like two. 58. But to force a last leg decider. Great dot. Well, he gets what he would like. 60. But he doesn't like what he gets. And Kim Hybrex has the opportunity to wrap the match up here. Double 16. 
No, and the hurricane that. misses a chance to end it right now. Match Dart missed it, his favourite double on the board. Are we going the distance? Double four. Game shot. Five, five. And Kim Hybrex, who has never trailed in this match, has the darts in the 11th and final leg. I can tell you it's a last leg decider between Max Hop and Gary Anderson as well. Even the maximum. Can't stop Kim. Not going to take it out, but he is going to set it up and leave his favourite double. 100. Well, he missed the dart to win the match on this double in the previous leg. And despite outscoring his opponent four zip on the 180s, Kevin Dirtz is going to lose this match in a last leg decider. Or is he? Going yes, going he is. Kim Hybrex completes the victory. All 11 legs played. And Hybrex, a little pat on the head for Kevin Dirtz whose confidence is low because they think, oh, it's happening again, and then they panic, and it all goes horribly wrong. Yes. Well, treble 17 now for Chisnell to try and make this leg go wrong for Glenn. A knowing nod from Dozer, but he didn't know. Starting up here on the treble 20. 17s, is he looking? No, he's gone the 13s. 91. So again, leaves himself on tops, but he's relying on misses from Chiz. He's obliging. Still obliging, and they weren't close, you know. Have we got an insect issue? Gifts for Glenn Durant. Game shot. And he's a grateful recipient. Does a double up on the European champion Rob Cross. He keeps on piling in ton plus averages. Does Goldfinger needs needs a treble here? No, and he gets that. one. Great dart from Glenn Durant to leave him on a one treble combo finish. Chizzy gets a look at this first. He's missed a lot of darts at doubles. He's still on treble nineteen next. 97 left. Confirming with the official Owen Binks, 97 remaining. Takes off the seven. 47. Inadvertently, and Durant has the opportunity to produce a three figure out shot to force a last leg decider. Has to hunt down the treble. Hunted. Big deep breath. This is huge for Glenn Durant. 92. Well, it wasn't a badly thrown dart by any stretch. A bold bid from Duzat, but he could be about to be put to bed by Dave Chisnell. Well, they're the shots that took him to countless titles. That's too good. 15 left. 7 or 3. Match dart. Dave Chisnell for a 6 4 win. To end Dozer's run. Game shot. And Glenn Durant ended his own horror run of defeats today. He's won two matches, but it does end there as Chizzy gets the job done and books his place in the last 16 of Players' Championship 9. The first of three this weekend, remember, here on PDC TV. A triple header of Players' Championship action. 180. A barrage from the Bedlington ace, Chris Toby. A barrage from the Bedlington ace, Callan Rids. Game shot. And brilliant stuff. Well, Dobie has just looked so comfortable for the duration of this match. And he might be about to wrap it up. On tops. 80. He will come back. 
not as clean the end of the match as he would have liked, but it has been a clinical, classy display from Chris Doby. Game Who defeats his cousin Callan Red 6 2 to book his place in the quarterfinals of Players' Championship 9. Doby goes through to take on Danny Yance, and he will be fancied a dart at the ball at the end of the combination. May not even get that because Noppert may get a dart at the ball at the end of this one and does. But he can't hit the ball. An MVG doesn't even manage 47. an opportunity to push the button. And Danny Nopper is pushing his buttons in this match. The bullseye the first time he's blinked at a double. Game shot. But he hasn't missed the outer ring. He reels off three legs on the spin and Van Gerwen's pulling his socks up. Eighty-nine. Well, it's never looked like anything else than a Danny Noppert win in this match. Eighty-four. He raced three legs clear and has kept Michael Van Gogh in a good distance away for the entire contest. Game shot. And Danny deserves Danny it. Noppert. Noppert gets the better well done, of Michael Van Gogh in the Daddy of Dutch Darts goes down. Um. Don't say anything. But yeah, it's like you said, that there. That's a prime example of what you're saying, Chris, but he finds a target. It was a perfect first start. But got gears, Dave Chisholm. We saw what he did to Dimitri Vandenberg and Michael Van Gerwen at the World Championship a couple of years ago. Well, Janssen unflustered. 137. Five of the six starts he's thrown in this leg. I found a, a big treble. That in response to being broken back by Chizzy. And the point you were making about ranking money as well, Mark, obviously the £12,000 that a winner gets is more than ever before. And what that kind of does is you're winning more than they're, than they're losing, the players that are losing the money for winning events a couple of years ago. Chizzy, though, I'm determined not to lose this leg, but powerless to do anything about it now. Yeah, credit Danny Janssen. Lost the throw, but quickly... Game gets shot. that advantage back, and I'm so impressed with what I'm seeing from Dan. Oh, leave it, leave the house with that hairdo, Chris, and that t shirt, definitely. Viewers can't see Chris's t shirt, but he's sporting a lovely pink number here. But Dave Chisnell is navigating his way back into this tie. And I ne never take fashion advice off, off someone that uh, dresses like Mark Webster. 65. Steady on, that. this is all right. What's going on here? Anyway. You're not planning to introduce commentary com commentary cam anytime soon. We'll keep. Bullseye to start. Two scored, yep. Yeah. And nothing he can do now but hope that Janssen does not take out the 70 combo. 30. Janssen then. To go one away from a maiden PDC ranking final. Fifth. Unlucky. This is a crossroads moment. If Dave Chisnell takes this, he will all of a sudden become favourite from the match. And he's never looked at the early stage like he was in the match, but big moment. Danny Hansen can't watch. He may stay, you know, double 11. He doesn't. It's in. It's in, Dave. Double top. Janssen looking at the floor, looking at his darts, looking at anything, but Dave Chisnell throwing at the board. Is he taking too much time? Only time will tell. I mean, just the wrong side. Sigh of relief for Danny Janssen. A big moment. Never been to this stage on the Pro Tour. Let's hope he doesn't do the Rob Cross go in price and think he's won the match when this goes in. If it goes in, and it doesn't go in, it's a bit of a mess, really. And is that the turning point, Chris? Is that the lack of experience for Danny Janssen? We spoke about it, didn't we? The, the potential for a bit of finish line-itis for both Gilding and Janssen. Janssen remains closer to it than Gilding, but he has been pegged back. 
Lucky Dave. I'm going back north for double five. Oh, oh, this is messy. Even if he returns, this ain't isn't clear cut. He will return. Seventy nine. Big one. Big pause. Big dart. Big moment for Dave Chisnell. Egg here. Janssen. Realistically thinking he's another one. This is good from Janssen. One Very good from Danny Janssen. Deserves a deciding leg. He's acquitted himself well today and he's acquitted himself well in his first semi final. And it, he's not out of this tie. Fifth. Bit of breathing space for this 80 as well. And hasn't looked sharp on finishers the last couple of times, but that's a sharp dart. Game shot. And that is a sharp finish. He's making his move. If Dave Chisnell is going to win this final leg on throw, he's going to have to earn it. Well, he needs one treble to leave a finish, but he probably feels he needs two here. Make him down with treble 17, he's there. And lucky, oh, and far. that means Danny Janssen has got six darts at 2.30. Here he goes, look at this. Just setting himself, he might as well stay there. No, he switched. 38. I'd have stayed. Yeah, he's, he's made it slightly more difficult for himself, hasn't he, on 92. Mm. He's given himself a, a decision to make as well. 96. Single 20 would have left 90. So does he start on the bolt? He has, but he's got the bolt. Double 16. And he's Danny Anson. Danny. He's through to a PDC final in just his ninth event on tour. It looked like it had slipped away as Chizzy roared back from 5-1 down to win the next five flags. But Janssen has found something from somewhere. I think it was the first weekend we had him. I didn't even know about the hair. And then he turned up on the stream and battered world championship finalist Michael Smith, averaging 107. I thought we've got a player here. 90. And they've been little sight, it looks good, but there's nothing to suggest, like you were saying, that he's going to do something like this all day. 45. Five for tops. He's been very good on this today. Game and he shot. remains very, very good on it in his game against Danny Nopper. If this goes in the final as well, I may not speak. I may not be able to speak. Oh, I thought I could have been doing the rest of the final on my own. <laughs> Andrew Gilding can't find another 164, but... 96. This ain't a gimme. Danny Hansen, 76. These are key moments in this final. It's a good first start. And this is the first time we've really seen him steady himself, and that wasn't... Game shot. Brilliant. Danny Janssen levels up at three apiece. And With a chance of winning a title. Yeah, I'm making his move on the gilding throw. He's going to get a chance at the 96. 92. Good pick off from gilding. Key moment coming up now, Danny Janssen. And this, it's only a little pause, isn't it? It worked in the previous leg, it's Game worked shot. again. 11 dart breaker throw from Danny Janssen. Good last start, a little nod of acknowledgement. That's all he's needed. He's done the hard work. He pulled himself away early in the leg. 140 realistically needed for Gilding. And of course, he's going to deliver, isn't he? 138. Good start. Leaves him on a Shanghai finish. 17 in tops for 5 3 and daylight. 62. Can't quite find it. And Andrew Gilding, a Shanghai finish, will tie this up again. Just the way this final's gone, the way the day's gone, you expect it to go. And he's been good down at floating one over the top today. Can't do it there. He's unlucky. 100. Floats the last one over. But Danny Janssen for a two-leg cushion. It is Game a two-leg cushion. Five, three, three legs away. Full visits to the board, not leaving a finish. He can't afford to have many more legs like this, Andrew Gilding. 
because Six time four. will be running out. It's a miss at tops by Danny Janssen, but it's a high miss, which means he comes back with three in his hand, looking at the same target. And Danny Janssen is a, a young player, so he will feel it. Gilder needs to stay in touch with him and having that freedom to be able to miss at tops. 97. He said Dan insensibly. He was cautious with it, very cautious at the tops, but will be more aggressive now, that is for sure. Double turn. Oh, now then. Oh, Brilliant that. Right in the corner. We've seen him chuck a wild one into the 15 against Chisel in the semi-final. Gilding, you'd never guess, but he's, he'll be feeling the pressure here. Brilliant. 140. He's had the answers for pretty much everything Danny Anson's thrown at him. It's just that one breaker throw that he couldn't respond to. But... 140. Gilding will not fold here. He never folded in the other finals. He was just beaten that day by the better player. An incredible Gary Anderson performance. This would be incredible. That Game is shot. incredible. Andrew Gilding with a 1-4-3 checkout and a 12 data just to try and reassert himself in this final. But he's relying on Janssen missing because if not, Gilding is going to have to win three straight legs. It would only still be one break, but there would be no 100. room for error. Can he go to the brink, Danny Janssen? Game can. And Andrew Gildin was hoping for a rare mistake. He doesn't get it. In the palm of your hands here, and it's been too comfortable on his throw. He's been good. He's been really good since he got that break. He's rarely been, well, he hasn't been threatened on his darts. And this is a 19-year-old throwing for his first senior title. And he's on one, two, one after nine darts thrown. It was a four-visit leg to beat Dave Chisel and a last leg decider. Doesn't need a four-visit leg here. 140. Andrew, but he doesn't now. He tried to go for the ball, I think. I'd go for the ball again. 97. Oh, he went aggressive. He's picked it off, and he's going to get darts for the title. Andrew Gilding looking to apply pressure, but it's looking like more final misery for Andrew Gilding. He can put some pressure on. And he does that. 100. But Danny Janssen, the teenager from the Netherlands, to be the main man today. He's earned his chance. What? And he Game is the champion. Match. Danny Janssen, the teenager from Holland, only his ninth PDC ranking event, is a ranking winner. He beats Andrew Gilding in a final. It's capped off a fine day's work for Danny Janssen.